All right, so if the Twitch quality isn't good, we might at least have a good stream that I can upload to YouTube afterwards. So here we go. Prestige on pole. And here we go, the driver was in position. Five lights, and they're off! Oh, poor start from Red Baron. Good start from Rauro. Oh no, Fijidomo is out right from the start! Kenny LaFlair takes the lead, followed by Prestige. Nameless Nate, Luke, and Ian Brax. Dubman falling down further back in the order. We've got a little bit of battle going on here in the midfield. But we seem to have stabilized. There are still 14 racers left in this Grand Prix. Oh, uh, that's unfortunate for Fiji. Uh, how's the how's the frame rate there? It looks like we've got some pretty bad drop frames right now. Uh, my internet may indeed be pretty uh be pretty trashed right now. It did just get reset, and there is a lightning storm in the area. Uh, however, at the moment, it does not look like we're getting any such storm here in Spielberg, Austria. We've got a tight little group here between Ian Brax, Get Dunked, and Camborn. Rawr falling shortly behind a cart right on the, uh, the back of Rawr there just a moment ago. And that's a safety car deployed. Are there going to be any first lap pit stops? That is the question. And that's Joe Patel with no front wing. He is going to be moving his way into the pits. Uh, and he'll probably be able to recover pretty well from this since we do have a safety car for this repair. Uh, but he will be dropped down into the last position right now. Drop frames seem to have gone down to 11%. Alright, so let's have a look at what has happened after that ridiculous start. So, Kenny uh, was able to make it past Prestige right at the start there, and Nate has made his way past Luke Brax. Uh, Ian Brax is up because, of course, everyone uh, gained a position from Fiji going up. Yeah, don't even know how that happened yet. I didn't see it either. Uh, seems like the number of drop frames are steadily going down. I've lowered the resolution, so hopefully things should be uh, running nicely. But uh, we'll see. I unfortunately didn't get to do any of my stream calibration because of the uh, power outage that happened earlier. Uh, but I'm making a side recording that I'll be able to upload to YouTube, and that one is going to be nice and smooth. So Cam had a really excellent start. He's up four positions from 11th to 7th. Uh, Rauro is up by one. Red Baron's down by four. Dubman up by five. Brother John up by three. So the three guys who really uh, fell out at the start there were uh, Red Baron, T Goldie down one position, JL Patel having to make that first lap pit stop. So we're going to have one more lap under the safety car here before we are able to get going once again. So, a bit of a, a bit of a hairy start of the race for everyone here. Well, uh, not, not quite everyone, but, uh, but quite a few of us had a bit of a moment here. Uh, the gaps are all over the place as a uh, uh, game be a little, little, little trippin' as, uh, as you put it, Fiji. Alright, so everyone's gonna be wanting to make sure to get their tires up into the optimal temperature. We go on board with the leader, Kenny. He's got good experience uh, from the races on Friday of just getting this launched off of the start, having a really nice late uh, safety car launch. We're going to see if he's going to be able to do that again in Austria. Just delay it, delay it until he can really get the jump on absolutely everyone here.
Prestige, meanwhile, he was the pole sitter. He's going to want this back. We're coming into Rima, uh, we're coming into Red Bull Mobile, the final corner. Kenny LaFlair puts down the power. And here we go. We are live. Coming here. I think I saw a momentary yellow there. A small gap forming uh, in front of the uh, get dunked. J.O. Patel is able to make a move on T. Goldie. And Kenny has held the lead as we come into this lap, the fourth lap of this race, and we are green once again in the hills of Spielberg, Austria. Oh, and that's a fight between the two Alpines. Ian Brax is able to make his way through into fourth position, but there's some side to side between the teammates here. Get Dunk getting an excellent view of his two rivals fighting side by side here. And they're still side by side as they come through the front through uh, the Schlossgold corner, or turn three as we uh, can say it a little bit more easily, and Luke Prax eventually settles in behind his brother and teammate. Things are close all the way through here. We're riding on board now with Raro, chasing down Camborn, himself with Gart right behind. Taking a look at the tires, most of the guys in the lead, in fact all of the top six, are here on the soft tires. Further back, we do have drivers on the mediums who are going to have a pace disadvantage early on here. Fastest lap for Kenny LaFleur, the leader. Let's see if anyone else is chasing even faster. Oh, it looks like he has got up for the moment. There's a bit of a moment here. Jail Patel and Fred Barron side by side. And here they come, side by side, into the, into the third corner. Tight, tight corner through here. Power down. Oh, goodness! That was a spin! That was Brother John, who's found himself spun out. Let's see if he's got any damage there. It looks like his front wing end plates are both intact. So Brother John has lost position, but he has not taken any sort of damage that would need to go into the pits. So he's going to be on recovery mode here now, seeing how far he can take those mediums, seeing if he can possibly catch up. Uh, a little bit of a gap starting to form from, uh, from the drivers for the pint. But everyone from uh, from Dubman up to Kenny is still in a fairly tight group here. Dubman in pursuit of Gart. And Gart right behind Robert, another fast slap for Kenny LaFlair. And oh goodness, we're very, very close here. Between Cam, Get Dunked, and Luke Brax, and Ian Brax. Nice and clean. Oh no, that's Robert. Robert has spun out, going through corner one. He's sliding on the track. Oh, he's going to have to wait for T. Goldie to make it through, and that's going to drop him down to the back as Brother Drawn is through. That's going to be a frustrating situation for Raro, but critically, does he have damage? No, it looks like he's clean. It was just a spin out. It can happen. There's a lot of very high power application on this circuit. A tight battle for the lead here. Prestige and Kenny LaFlair. Prestige wants this, and he's got to run. Backs up. Nameless Nate has retired from the session. Let's see what's happened here. Oh, he's spun out, and he's into the wall, and is that going to be a safety car? It is. It's a virtual safety car. Oh, that's, that's unfortunate to see for Nameless Nate, especially with his team doing so well today. You know he wanted to be there. I wonder if this is going to upgrade to a full safety car. Well, once again, like the race last Friday in Italy, we're getting some pretty high attrition early on. We've got a pit stop, and Luke Brax is dropping down to 12th as he is in the pit lane, just making his exit right now. He's going to be behind everyone except Raro. Virtual safety car still in effect here. And goodness, there's a very tight little group at the front here, isn't there? But we are green once again, and we're on board with Red Baron, who's at the back of this group. Moving a little bit further up, because we've got a tight fight. Gart's got an excellent view. Oh, and that's- Oh, Prestige! Into the wall! His front wing gone. Oh, goodness, what a devastating two laps for the Alfa Romeo team. T. Goldie's coming up. Prestige is probably going to just back off of this. Oh, well, they side by side. Oh, that could have been bad. 
and Prestige is able to make his way into the pit lane. Meanwhile, Luke Brax is right on the back of T Goldie. Is he going to make a peek up the inside? Oh, and well, he's able to push T Goldie into a mistake. Goldie goes quite wide and off the track and back through. And here we go, repairs are done, and Prestige is back out onto the track. He's going to be hoping for a safety car to get back here. But seeing what we have of this game, uh, safety cars have abounded. And, well, pff, I apparently was not looking up at the corner, because there we have it. There is a safety car out right now, and that is going to help everyone catch back up. Prestige just coming by the safety car right now. Well, what a uh, what an exciting few uh, few corners here, and we're getting a bunch of drivers into the pits. We've got Kenny into the pits, Ian Brax, Get Dunked, Camborn, Gart, JL Patel, everyone. Uh, Dubman, however, is not going into the pits, uh, and he's taking his medium tires straight into the lead of this race. Meanwhile, so does Red Baron on his eight lap old softs. So he's going to have track position, maybe gambling on another safety car here. Oh, uh, that's a penalty for Raro speeding in the pit lane. That's a frustrating situation for him, to be sure. Oh, did Tubman just overshoot the uh, safety car for a moment there? And Red Baron lets him back through. So this creates an interesting situation. The drivers who started on the uh, on the medium tires, uh, actually, there's only one left who is still on the mediums, and that's Dubman. Uh, Red Baron is here on well-worn old softs. Uh, and then T. Goldie on the hards. So we're going to have an interesting little inversion of order here, as the rest of the drivers are making their way back into this formation. Meanwhile, Prestige and Raro are just catching onto the tail of this, and they might, in fact, be able to catch in time for the safety car to come in this lap. Let's see. There may be one more lap of this. And uh, once again, to everyone, I apologize if there's a uh, if there's choppiness in the stream. Uh, again, my settings got reset by the power bomb, as I've been uh, fiddling around with them a little bit. Looks like there's going to be one more lap of the safety car, as Raro is just pulling in right now. And whoa, what's this? Red Baron is pitting. He's decided, oh, well, you know what? I'm just going to get eaten up here. And that's going to drop him right down to the back. Unfortunate, but, uh, you know, there's still a lot left in this race. 26 more laps to go. And there we go, now only Dubman himself and T. Goldie are on remotely old tires. And actually, I think Luke Brax finds himself now in a very enviable position. We've seen his pace from uh, the race on Friday, and now here he is, his uh, tires were only two laps old. But yes, this will certainly be the last lap of the safety car for this race. Uh, pardon me for this safety car session. But as I was uh, as I was thinking and not saying, there very well could be more safety cars. Uh, the the game is pretty generous with the safety cars, and everyone's getting used to new handling models, uh, less forgiving cars. As Rara was saying in some of the previous practices, you know, it really rewards smooth driving. But of course, uh, Rara himself has had difficulties this race. It's not easy to keep these cars under control to any degree. Uh, JDR, for example, last race was having a dominant performance in Italy, and then just, you know, had a brief moment of uh, lost control in the Lesmos, and that was it. It's an unforgiving game, and here we are, making our way towards the end of the safety car. Dubman himself is going to be taking us away, followed by T. Goldie, Luke Brax, Kenny LaFlair, Ian Brax, Get Dunk, Camborn, Gart, JL Patel, Prestige, Raro, and Red Baron. Twelve drivers of the starting 15 remain in this race, and here we go. Dubman himself is going to take it away. Oh, and this is a couple of drivers right on the back, T. Goldie and Luke Brax both taking a look. Luke Brax up the inside of T. Goldie for second place. He's going to hold the inside, and he keeps the line. T. Goldie once again pushed a little bit wide there. 
and up the inside, here comes Kenny LaFlair on his fresh, uh, fresh hearts. There's going to be difficulty here on 10 lap old hearts, but T Goldie can keep on running these. He's holding on to fourth, but now is Ian Brax going to try and take uh, take advantage of this? There's a tight, tight little group here as Jail Patel is following down a couple of positions. Brower makes his way up to 10th, and Red Baron following through in 12th position. Gart taking, uh, taking a look at Get Dunk, but realizes he's not going to have the line just yet. Here we have a small gap starting to form up towards the very front, but there's still a tight group. Everyone's just snaking together through here. And Cam, lots of energy to send. Oh, that's a beautiful angle. And here we go, Gart taking a move on the inside of Get Dunked, and he backs out of it. But he's still very close. Very close indeed. Oh, goodness. We've got a little bit of excitement for the front. Dubman himself. Uh, pardon me missing a pass for the lead, but Luke Brax coming into uh, Schlossgold is able to take the position. Raro picks up a five-second penalty, and there's been a severe collision with Prestige. I didn't see it, unfortunately, but Prestige, Jail Patel are all out. Raro gingerly making his way out. Oh, I'm sorry I missed that. Um, but, uh, well, Raro might have something interesting if he has that recorded. And a safety car again, what was I saying? This is a very, very brutal attrition that we're getting here in the Assist Division preseason race 2. And now, critically, we'll see if anyone is going to want to pit here. Dubman, I think, would be wise to pit, but no, he's going to keep those mediums. He's just going to say, hey, there's going to be another safety car in three laps. I'll take it then. But we do have a pit stop for T. Goldie, who says, these these hards, they're not doing it for me. I'll just back off. Uh, and the whole pack is so tight here. Well, there we go. Out of the race thus far, Fiji Tomo right at the very start. Nameless Nate, Brother John, and now Jail Patel and Prestige both out on the 12th lap of this race. Still only one third of the way through the Austrian, or perhaps the uh, Styrian Grand Prix. But everyone's all gathered together well this time, so I think we're going to have a fairly short safety car. Oh, was that a little bit of a... a little bit of a backup from, uh, from Luke and Ian there? So now Dubman finds himself uh, the driver on the oldest tires. So thus far, it's been one stop for everyone still in the race. Dubman up very nicely, uh, but everything's been shaken up a lot, and we're coming right to the restart, so I'm going to drop out of this race. Oh, no, it looks like they're doing yet another lap under the safety car. Curious. But, uh, who am I to know the whims of the stewards? So looking at the race pace that we've seen here, everyone is broadly speaking sorted by race pace. Kenny has been looking the fastest thus far with the 106.553, a bunch of drivers in the 107s, uh, and T Goldie and Red Baron still in the 108s. So broadly speaking, we're looking at a fairly, fairly well sorted grid right now, but there's everything that still could change here. Uh, it's a long race, it's one with a lot of opportunities for losses of traction, losses of control and we can still see a lot more upsets happening. Right now, 
everyone who's in the race, if they can finish, is going to be in the points. Not that points matter too much for preseason, but it does matter a little bit for, you know, just figuring out exactly where you're going to be. And there we go. The message from Race Control. Safety car in this lap. So for penalties, critically, uh, some of the drivers with penalties are up, but Raro and Dubman both have penalties. Raro with 13 seconds, so he's going to really want to have some clean running towards the end here so that the grid is not compressed, because if they are compressed, things are going to get very bad for him. And here we come. The restart is brought up. Kenny LaFleur leading once again. And let's see what he can do here. On board with Ian Brax, and he's got a little bit of a run. Cam is also very close in behind Dubman. But it looks like there's going to be no changes of position. Oh, Robert almost has a moment there, and T Goldie is able to capitalize on it. And he slips through. Oh, they're very close. He's crowding him a little bit, but Robert is saying, No, no, let me have my line, let me have my line. And here we go, coming into Remus. He's very respectful, leaves a lot of space, but that allows T Goldie to get the better line out. Uh, meanwhile, we're seeing a change of position between the two Ferraris as Kit Dunked moves through on Dubman. And that also lets Gart through, and Dubman drops from 5th to 7th in just a series of couple of corners. And that, uh, in fact, things are about to get worse because Red Baron says, Hello, how are you doing? And he's able to slip through. He's taking a tight line, though. Is Dubman going to be able to cap back through here? Red Baron goes just a little bit wide. Is Red Baron going to be able to capitalize on this? Or is T. Goldie going to... Oh my goodness! Just the conga line continues. T. Goldie has a run here. He's deploying up the inside of corner one. He cuts it tightly. Red Baron picks up a time penalty there. And Dubman, I think he went wide and had to give up the position. Those 15 lap old soft, old medium tires, I should say, are not serving him well at this point in the race. But he might just be thinking, you know what, I'm just- Oh, goodness, that was close! That was very, very close between Dubman and Goldie, but he's able to hold it. And Dubman now drops to 10. If I were him, I'd be thinking about the safety cars, I'd be thinking about how long I can safely run these tires, because these time gaps, looking at what's happened in the race thus far, could very well get absolutely obliterated. If he can just run these for a long time, he might be able to do only one pit stop here. Meanwhile, Ian Brax, having gotten through on Kenny LaFleur, is starting to pull out a little bit of a lead here. Uh, we talked about how both of the Brax brothers were doing very, very well in Italy, and their form is continuing here. Uh, Kenny, after the race, you know, he, he didn't see it coming, but they were showing tons and tons of promise, and it seems with their internet issues sorted out, uh, they're a major threat here, uh, and definite contenders for the championship. Gart really close on the back of Get Dunk, but it's a DRS train. Gart coming through, up the inside into Remus. He breaks late, can he make this corner? Looking to the side, and he's got the position. Get Dunked is dropped down to 6 as Garrett moves up, and also there's a move between T. Goldie and Red Baron, but Red Baron then drops, and he is picked off by his teammate, Raro. But we come back to this, uh, the, well, I'm not sure what to, quite to call it, but sort of a middle of the track scuffle. Uh, everyone from Kenny all the way back to Red Baron is in a tight little pack here, all going through uh, the central section of uh, Sector 2 right now. A little bit wide there for Get Dunked. But it's all about getting the power down for this. Uh, between, uh, between turn 8 and turn 1, that's the only place you're really going to find a really good straight... Oh! Oh, that was a moment. That was a moment for Get, uh, for Get Dunked, but he's able to hold on to it, and that allows T. Goldie back in here. Kenny, meanwhile, has closed right back up on Ian Brax. And uh, Luke's got a front row seat for this potential battle for the lead of the race. But as I was saying, um, the the best overtaking opportunity is certainly going into turn one. But there's a lot of hard braking zones and a lot of points where there's a lot of acceleration that can lead to major changes 
and major differences in the acceleration between the different drivers. Now, how can you follow through here? It's difficult to follow. There's a lot of downforce dependent corners here that really get messed up by following closely. But so far, Luke and Kenny are doing a good job of following Ian, but right behind them, Camborn uh, is tightly followed by Gart. And Gart is going to be looking to really see if he can get a good launch here. But with a DRS train, he's going to struggle to get a big advantage over Camborn. Uh, Dubman, meanwhile, is continuing out on those old mediums. He's now rolling the dice. He's seeing if he can gamble on getting everything back with a safety car. Uh, but thus far, things have been clean. Knock on wood. A little bit of a excitement here as Luke Rex tries to make a move around the outside of Kenny LaFlair. Kenny LaFlair takes a tight exit. Camborn picks up a time penalty for multiple corner cutting warnings. And he's still right behind T to Goldie and Get Dunked are racing side by side here. As we can see from Rauru's perspective. Oh, oh goodness! Oh, that was very, very close. Uh, T Goldie goes a little bit wide there. Get Dunked is trying to hold in here. Side by side, coming in through the central section of the track. And there we go, Get Dunked ultimately is forced to give up the position to T Goldie, but he's going to want to fight it back. He's still got 54% energy. Goldie a little bit wide here, and Get Dunked might be able to just grab that position right back. He's got his ERS deployment. He's going for it. Meanwhile, Kenny LaFleur and Ian Brax are having the fight themselves. Ian is still in the lead, but Kenny really wants it. Kenny side by side with Ian, and he takes the lead. And is Luke going to do something? Luke up the inside of his own brother. Here we go, side by side again into Remus. Respectfully leaving the space, and Kenny LaFleur has retaken the lead of this race. While Balzac, uh, Fiji went out on uh, the first lap, Nameless Nate and Brother Chan both had incidents, and then Prestige and JL Patel and I believe Raro had an incident that I believe was connected, and all went out on lap 13, but the last seven laps have been clean running. So we've got a little bit of a gap starting for between P4 and P5. Uh, Gart uh, to Kenny, P1 and P4 are all together, and then we've got a little group of Brower followed by Get Dunked and T Goldie, who's doing very nicely, and then we've got the three chasers of Redborn, uh, Red Baron, Camborn, and Dubman himself. Dubman on some very, very old mediums, uh, but he's just waiting for another safety car to get him back into this. Alternatively, he might be trying to go for the medium to soft strategy, quite daring if I do say so. Well, I've got to keep my eyes on the front here, because we are having a really titanic battle here between Kenny, Ian, and Luke. Uh, all of them just swapping the lead back and forth, back and forth. Let's take a look at where they are on energy. All low except Kenny, who is saving up. He's at 50%. But the Brothers Brax, uh, they want this. It's not enough to get a double podium for Alpine. They want the win. And Gart is doing a nice job just holding on to the back of this high pace group. Certainly all the fighting, defending, and attacking that they're doing between each other is going to be doing a lot to help everyone else keep up. Uh, meanwhile, Rauro is also doing quite nicely here, recovering from some difficult moments earlier in the race uh, to be now running comfortably in fifth position. Get Dunked, however, is running right behind him, so we'll take a moment to have a look at that, see if we've got anything happening with them and Terimus. Oh, but I've got to look ahead. See if there's anything happening with the top three. Ian is making a little move to the outside. He's going to see if he can force Kenny LaFleur into a compromised line, but no, Kenny still got it. Raro, meanwhile, uh, chasing down Gart and get dumped right in behind Raro. Ooh, there's a slight moment there. And, oh, it looks like we're having some changes of position here. Get Dunked and Raro side by side as Get Dunked is trying to take this position. But Raro is able to successfully defend it. Luke and Ian still in a very, very tight fight here as the front three are just not separating. This is what you'd love to see. This is what racing's all about a three way fight for the podium. 
All right, we've got a little bit of energy for uh, Luke, and Ian is a bit more uh, spent, but they both have DRS, and as such, neither of them is able to get any sort of changes here. Is there another move here? Nope, but Guard is closing right up on the back of these guys. Also, we're getting some more fighting between Bravo and Get Dunked! And this time, Get Dunked is able to get the better of Rawr and is able to push through. They're on the exact same tire strategy right now. And also, T Goldie is taking a little look, seeing if he can maybe take advantage of Rawr getting compromised by being passed. T Goldie is on slightly fresher tires. Again, one of the newcomers to the league this year, but already making a strong impression. But you know what? I just cannot take my eyes off of this battle for the lead for long, uh, because uh, the Brothers Brax and Kenny LaFlair are all dueling for this. We're now approaching the two-thirds point of the race. Uh, there's going to be certainly one more pit stop for these guys, although I could imagine, could Kenny perhaps take these hards to the end? Oh, Gart picks up a penalty. Oh, that's going to be painful. Let's take a look at the penalties for a moment. So it's three seconds for Ian, and three seconds for Garp. Bravo dealing with a major time penalty, but a lot of the drivers behind him also have uh, six and three second penalties. So if he can build a bit of a gap, the penalty is not going to be that devastating for him. Once again, Raro and Get Dunked having a mighty old fight here. Not playing around in the least, or uh, alternatively, uh, having a real good play around here. Gart in right behind as Luke and Ian Brax are going side by side. Luke takes a wide line, and I think Ian is pitting in. That's it, yes. So Ian is the first of these leaders to pit. And the safety car is out! T Goldie has crashed! Uh, that's unfortunate. Another DNF for T. Goldie. Let's see uh, if his car is still here. We can maybe get a look at him as Campbell comes through. But this is exactly what Dubman was wait- Oh wait! Oh no! Dubman's already made a pit stop! Oh goodness, I was talking about seeing if he could be patient. But nonetheless, he has still uh, made his uh, pit stop. And I can't quite tell if Goldie has, uh, has lost his wheel there. But it's clearly a collision bad enough to end the race for him. Sad to see it. Well, now we are going to see what's going to happen with the leaders here. So we've got Kenny, Luke, Gert, Raro. Ian actually made a very interestingly timed pit stop here, since he pitted just before the safety car. Uh, so he didn't quite get the advantage of a faster pit stop, but now he's got potential track position. Um, we'll see what happens with the pit stops of the drivers in front of him. He's going to have to make sure he's managing his speed, because of course we can't have any more of those uh, speeding under the safety car penalties. And here we go. We've got Gart, Luke Brax, and Kenny LaFlair all coming into pits. Robert as well, and get dunked. Um, so now we're going to see where they're going to come up relative to Ian Brax, who is on these fresh softs. He can take them 11 laps to the finish. So this is going to be so critical. Who's coming up first? It's uh, not going to be Get Dunked, actually. It's going to be Gart, who is leading this group out. So Gart has been able to jump through here, and let's see where they come up relative to Ian. Yeah, unfortunate. His pit stop just before the safety car um, didn't give him quite enough of an undercut to get ahead of these guys. And uh, as such, Ian Brax is now finding himself down in fifth position. Gart is now, for the first time in the race, leading as he comes up to the safety car. Luke Brax is in P2, Kenny LaFlair, P3, Get Dunked in P4, all these guys on brand new tires, Ian Brax in P5, Rauro in P6, Red Baron uh, has taken advantage of this handily to recover to P7, and what just happened to Camborn? Has Cam retired from the race? I don't know myself, but something has happened to Camborn. I can't look at him anymore, and he is just sitting in the pit lane. That's unfortunate for Cam, but now there are eight drivers left and ten laps to go. Dumbman himself is going to be catching up very soon, and when he does, I think we might be able to get a safety car in this lap. We'll see. 
100% energy. Let's see who's got it saved up. Yeah, everyone has got it all saved up here. Alright, the safety car is indeed in this lap as the compressed. The drivers have compressed everything here. And now we're going to get to see Gart lead a safety car restart. Followed by Luke Brax, Kenny LeFair, Get Dunked, and Ian. Alright, and let's see what Gart can do here as he comes out onto the restart. The Alpine is right on him. Can the McLaren driver hold it off? Ooh, that was close. And I see that there's a tight move. Ian Brax is getting through on the inside of Get Dunked. Rauro is right beside him and also trying to get through. Red Baron getting a nice view of his teammate trying to get through in this battle for fifth place. And Gart is pushed wide. He's into second. And Luke Brax is able to take the lead. Now, can Kenny do something? Kenny, critically the only driver on the mediums. So he's going to have the most life, but he's going to have the least performance right now. And Gart is now knocked down into P3. Ian Brax up the inside as he continues. And Gart is pushed. Well, as wide as he dare send him. And there we go, Gart down from P1 to P4, halfway through the first lap after the restart. Rauro now, right behind him, but Gart is going to be trying to fight back on this. Kenny LaFleur is wide! Ooh, that was possibly a bit of contact, I'm not certain. But Kenny and Gart side by side, and now Rauro going to see if he can take a better line, and Kenny is stuck on the inside, which means he's going to have to break a little bit earlier. Rauro, cautious, uh, and Kenny has to be cautious. It was Kenny! Oh, is Kenny damaged? Oh, and there's some damage too between Get Dunked and Rauro. Let's have a look at Get Dunked right now. Does he have damage? Yes, he's got a damaged end plate. That's going to be very bad. And Red Baron up the inside. Red Baron is through. Get Dunked now, after such a strong race, is going to find himself in a dreadful position with eight laps left. Kenny LeFleur critically taking a pit stop right now, and he's coming out on softs. This is a desperate move here. Kenny has been leading so much here. And now, what's going to come of this? He's going to be so far back, half a lap back on everyone here. Uh, I, I'm very curious to see how this is going to turn out. Well, for a brief moment, we have some tranquility here. Uh, Luke Brax is leading by two seconds, Gart is in third, and Ian Brax in second. Gart's one of the closest pursuers of anyone here, although Raro is also reasonably close to him as well. Then we have his teammate, Red Baron, Dubman himself in the Ferrari, followed by Get Dunked and Kenny LaFleur, who is 19 seconds back and is going to just be hauling in time as much as he can. Kenny needs, and absolutely needs, a safety car if he wants to get back into this. After leading or being fighting for the lead for so much of this race, get dunked into the pits to repair his damaged wing, and Luke Brax is starting to build the first actual lead that we've seen in this whole race. I think this is the first time the leader has had more than 1.8 seconds on the second place driver. Uh, and there we go, Kenny LeFleur is able to get through on Get Dunked as Get Dunked is exiting from the pits. But we move back up because uh, we've got Raro chasing down Gart for third place here. Um, although Gart is doing a good job of holding him off and in fact is probably more likely to try and make a move on Ian Brax. He had the lead at the start of this uh, session and it looks like he's got his pace back up after uh, a couple of passes earlier on. Keep in mind also the penalty. So Raro here is facing 11 seconds of penalty, so even though he's in P4, if there's another safety car, uh, which Raro has to be just crossing his fingers saying, keep it clean guys, keep it clean, come on, please keep it clean, uh, that is what he needs uh, if he doesn't want to get demoted all the way down uh, to the back of this group. There's ERS for Gart and ERS for Raro, but neither of them are able to make the move on Ian Brax. Meanwhile, Luke Brax is just pulling out further and further and further. Kenny LaFleur fastest lap with a 105.2. Absolutely blistering pace, but is it coming too late? Uh, there's so much he needs to do, and with only six laps, a pace like that is not even going to get him onto the back of Dubman unless we get a safety car. Certainly, it's uh, not a bad idea to bet on a safety car right now. But with fewer and fewer drivers, there's uh, less things that can potentially bring it out. Gart, tight on Ian Braggs here. Very tight. Let's see what he can do here. He's got 38% deploy. Ian, much lower though. Here comes Gart on the offensive. He's got a good launch. 
He's coming up. He's going to go to the inside. Oh, goodness! Very, very dramatic dodging there. And now Gart takes the line. Ian goes wide and goes wide and holds the position doing so. But Gart has some more ERS to deploy. Gart now around the outside. Ian not going to make quite such a radical move this time. He's going to try and outbreak him on the inside, though. But he has to give it up. Gart's going to have a better launch through here. And with that, Gart is able to reclaim second and break up the Alpine 1 2. Uh, very little deploy left for Ian Brax, but he's going to try and fight back on Gart. Gart goes to the outside to defend, and Ian throws it up the inside. Let's see if Gart is able to take a wide line. No, he backs out, and Ian Brax is able to retake second. Gart has now spent a lot of his ERS here, but Ian has even less to fight with, and all of this is just going to have Rauru licking his chops, saying, come on guys, yeah, yeah, you know, fight a little bit. Let's see if I can get through here. But don't do it so much that it brings it a safety guard. I don't want that right now. Kenny wants a safety car, I do not want a safety car. Alright, here we go. Gart versus Ian Brax. Round two, or perhaps round three, since I think we had two rounds in the last time. Robro as well has his DRS. Gart is taking a look, but no, there's going to be no move down the main straight as they come into Castrol Edge. Now we make our way up the hill towards turn two, Remus. No moves from Gart. Raro takes a tight line. And Red Baron also. Uh, I've got to give some credit to a very nice recovery here. Uh, he had a very troubled early race, but he's now running nicely in P5. And with the penalties that he has, uh, he's probably likely to keep it, because while he might lose a place to Dubman, uh, if he uh, isn't able to build a bit more of a gap, he's going to get ahead of Raro because of Raro's big pile of penalties. Oh no! Bravo! He's losing it! Oh goodness! Oh, that's very hard to see, very hard to watch. And here we go, waiting, Dubman goes through. Now there's a little bit of a gap. Oh, and a full donut. Oh, it's 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 that moment where you're just panicking, you're like, oh, I need to get moving, I need to get moving. And now this is going to let Kenny LaFlair come through. And Kenny sees Raro ghosted on the side there and is able to retake P6. But there's now so few laps left in this race. But we've got a bit of a move here. Gart and Ian Brax again. And Ian is able to take position two back from Gart. But Gart, once again, has more ERS to deploy. So this is where the eyes are going to be late on in this race here. As Raro has just uh, spun himself out of contention for this fight, at least on track. And now we're looking at Gart and Ian fighting over second place, both of them, with three seconds of penalties. So they're going to be facing the exact same uh, penalties, so effectively no difference between the two of them. And Red Baron behind them with six seconds, so even if he is able to catch up, he's not really going to be affected in this unless they pick up any more corner cuts. Alright, Gart going to try and get that really good launch. Oh, a bit of a moment for Ian, and that might be Gart's moment. He slips into the slipstream. He opens the DRS. A little bit of a wiggle, and he decides not to go for it. Ian Brax still holding, but you know what? Gart is saving up. Gart is playing the long game here. Meanwhile, Luke Brax comfortably leading by a country mile here. Oop. Gart and Ian still fighting, still having it out, and Red Baron is seeing if he can just get himself into the tail end of this fight. But right now, Baron is looking to be in a pretty nice position. Uh, might be set for uh, for P4 if he can keep a lead to Dubman of three seconds. Gert continuing to save up. He's just building it up, and I think he's going to try to make a move late. But we've seen that Ian is not afraid of making passes in corners other than turn one. So this is turning out to be a very exciting battle between these two drivers. You know, I kind of want to just take off some of the some of the display here and just watch. There's no moves this time. He's playing cautious. He's saving it. He's uh, keeping the powder dry as it were, but he's deploying a little bit now just to keep close. Luke Brax, meanwhile, looking in a very dominant position here with one and a half laps left. And the battle right now is all about Gart and Ian Brax. Who is going to be second here? Gart's deploying. 
What's Ian going to do? Ian is going to see the outside position, and Kurt has the outside line. He's looking inside to Ian, inside to Ian. Oh no! What a disaster! Kurt picks up a time penalty, and that... Oh god! Oh no! Oh! And that's going to be some damage. Suddenly, Red Baron and Dubman himself are both in this fight because Kurt, with that damage, critically with only one lap left, is going to want to pit, or... Jeez, you know what? I don't think he's going to pit. He's just going to do one more lap here, and he's going to see if he can hold off Red Baron. But with that huge loss in downforce, Gert goes wide. Goes wide again through Red Bull Mobile Hell. And Red Baron is up into P3. However, Baron is going to need to put up a big gap here. Uh, let's take a look at those penalties once again, since I don't think we're going to need to look at the tires anymore. The strategies are done. Now it's all about the penalties. Red Baron has six seconds. If Gart can stay within losing just one more second, he can hold it. But with the damage that he's taken, let's have a look at that wing. The outer left end plate is gone. Meanwhile, Kenny LaFlair has been able to push his way back up Dubman himself. Can Kenny catch Gart here for fourth place, perhaps? Um, I think he very well could with that six second penalty. And meanwhile, oh, there's a yellow flag in sector one. And does that get dunked? Yes, it is. Get dunked, as spun out in the uh, first corner. But he's able to carry on. Let's see if he's got any damage there. Uh, actually, I think he might have lost an end plate. Let's see. Nope, end plates are intact. Get dunked. His car is fine. It was just a uh, spin with no contact. But here we have it. Luke Brax takes victory. Ian Brax comes through and celebrates an Alpine 1 2. Red Baron comes through, and he's put on a big cap. Almost spins it out right at the end there. Gart now coming through with the damage. He was fighting for second, fighting for third. In the end, he's going to have to settle for fourth place. Kenny LaFlair coming through three seconds behind. And Kenny LaFlair just narrowly, by the slimmest of margins, is able to pit Gart for fourth place right at the end. He was so close to the penalty cutoff. And now, Dubman himself, P6. Raro comes through in P7. Five seconds for the unserved penalty. Is Get Dunked going to be close enough? I think he is. And there we have it. A wild race to be sure. Heavy attrition, lots of safety cars, lots of things getting tossed up, and driver of the day is Dubman himself. Well, the hills are alive with the sound of splintering carbon fiber. And there we have it. Double podium, 1-2 for the Brax Brothers of Alpine Renault. And there we have it. What a race. What a race. And look at that. Third place. Uh, in terms of uh, people who I would have expected early on in the race to be on the podium, Fred Baron. <laughs> well done. Thanks, guys. Well, that's something. Yeah, it, it, it was pretty fun. It was my first race uh, without assists. So, I'm proud. Good race, guys, Ian and Luke. Yeah, what what a race. So, there we have it. Luke, Ian, Red Baron, Kenny LaFlair, Gart, Dubman, Get Dunked, and Raw Raw are the finishers. Uh, oh, yeah. And then among the retirees, we've got Cam, T. Goldie, Prestige, Jail Patel, Brother John, and Nameless Nate. Uh, I want to hear what happened with uh, with uh, Prestige and Jail Patel and Raw Raw there, because it looked like there might have been a three-person collision and uh, I didn't catch it on the stream. There was a lot going on. Yeah, uh, oh goodness. Wow. I can't believe I was able to cast that, but I think it was very choppy, so I made sure to record, so I'll upload to YouTube as well. Well, uh, ladies and gentlemen, uh, apologies for all the craziness with the stream. Uh, I'll make sure to... Uh, get the weather sorted out next time so that uh, it's not so inconsiderate to take out the power exactly as uh, qualifying starts. Um, but this has been uh, FRL, the Assist Division, preseason race 2. Next race is going to be the start of the regular season. Thank you everyone for tuning in and checking out the video on Twitch and YouTube.